Good evening. This is Tina. Um, this is gonna be my last video in this month. Probably also next month about mongoose. Oh, actually, I didn't. Uh, most of my video on mongoose is a practical videos, which is leading you to using mongoose to do the crowd operation and. Uh, uh, and other operation related to shopping cart. Once you can do that, I think you can easily learn other things by yourself. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you two slides which is cover uh, statics and uh, virtues. Because if I remember correctly, all the methods I wrote in the previous videos are all instance methods. Sometimes you might want to have other methods without using instance. Then we can add a stati uh, statics. And for the virtues, they are actually very, very similar to if you know Hibernate. There's a notation called a transient, very similar to that one. So now let me show you, okay? I have two slides. That is show now. Yes, now I just show you. Okay. So here, as you can see in the slides, uh, which is for the statics, which means you can also add the static functions in your model, and uh, there are two ways to do that. The first way is using like a schema. Oh, oh, schema using schema and using statics, then you give the name. So how to call that? How to call in your controller? In your controller, you, uh, <coughs> in your controller, you already uh, require and to get the model, right? In this case, it's animal, okay? Suppose you use, you require it, require, this is this uh, JS file, which is this uh, some uh, model, model, and then animal.js, okay, which is the file contain this information. Then using const uh, animal because it's a model, right? So, how to call this find by name? You just using animal dot find by name, okay. Then how, then here, this, this function ask for one name, then you just give a name, like find by name, which contains uh, Tina, Na, okay? Then you will return all the, uh, all the animals, okay? In this case, contains the name and A inside that there, okay? So here, we are not using an instance of animal. We are using the class, which is a model itself. Okay, so this is called a, a static, like kind of like you call um, uh, in Java, uh, you know, in JavaScript, we have instance field, instance method. We have a static method, right? This is kind of like a static method. Okay, and the other way is you using schema, then static. Then you give the method name, then you give the callback, which is actually is a function, okay? So they are equal. Personally, I prefer this one because we're using the same way to create the instance methods, right? So uh, by the way, all those things is in your model, okay? Those things here is in the model, okay? Your model that JS file, okay? Your controller is just to use this method in your controller. So this is statics. Uh, next one is a virtuals. Uh, this is kind of a little bit interesting. Suppose in your uh, document, uh, in this one is a user, user collection, users collection. We have um, lots of document, right? And in the document, you're gonna have the first, na first name and the field and also have a last name field. Let me erase this one, okay, first. Let me erase this one. Pen, okay. And then we have a last name. 
This is the field inside the our user collection. Okay, in our MongoDB, and then on your page, this is your page, and here you have a welcome. And for this welcome, you have a combination which is the first name and the semicolon, uh, no, no, comma and the last name. This is a combination. Okay, one way to do that is uh, you grab the information and when you render your page, when you render your page, right, render. And here you have, suppose I render index.ejs file and the, the locals here I give the user, okay, user, okay, this is grabbed from database. And in our EJS, which is index EJS, we can do is do like this way, right? Equals user dot first name, right? Like this one. And then we write a comma. Then we write equals user dot uh, last name. In this case, it match to our format here, right? And have a comma. So we have to write like this way. Okay, and uh, another way is to using virtual. Okay, virtual are the document properties. Then you can get and set, but you do not have to persist into a database. Okay, so here we have the virtual, which is the name. This name attribute. Let me change it to another color. Uh, let me using another color this color okay this name attribute it won't be persist into your database you only has a first name last name name is a transient to your database but uh, in your uh, template you can still using get and a set method so for the for the same requirement if we have this uh, virtual in our model what we can do is uh, after welcome here we can just uh, write like this equal user dot name okay because user dot name when we this uh, syntax here is actually to retrieve the name value right when retrieve then you can use it it will call the get the get will com combine based on last name and the first name and if you want the first name first you just change it here you there's no need to change it on the ui and suppose later on you don't using comma you're using double column you just change it here change it in your virtual okay and the virtual you can continue using a set Okay, you can also have a set to do something related to the last name and the first name, which here you give a callback function also. Okay, and uh, that's the uh, last two uh, things I want to introduce in Mongoose. And uh, there are other things actually in Mongoose. I hope you can look at Mongoose uh, documentation by yourself, like other things like uh, uh, you can oh when we define the schema we can also define the index okay you have uh, two ways to create index one way is when you define schema you can automate you can in the field level you can define index the other one is after schema is created you can using the create index to create index okay and uh, there are other things is like uh, oh it has also some uh, pre methods if you are interested, take a look at it by yourself. Sorry, okay, I can I don't have time to cover uh, this block, okay, and sorry, this month, okay. If I have time, I will uh, record more videos and uh, insert into this playlist. Okay, thank you for your understanding and uh, uh, thank you for watching my video. Uh, I hope you enjoy learning mongoose node.js express mongodb okay and see you next time good night bye bye